Welcome back to Guitar Search Saturdays. My name's Shane. This is episode 44, filmed in Sydney, Australia, at the Guitar Jungle. This was the third of three of the Sydney, Australia episodes. If you missed the other two, I'll link them up in the cards and you can check them out. If you do enjoy Guitar Search Saturdays, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Comment below if you've visited this shop or whether or not you've seen other stores in the city that you'd like me to check out. Guitar Jungle is located in Redfern, which is roughly two kilometers or about a mile or so out of the city center. One of the fun things for me is not only going to the guitar shops, but seeing the location they're set in. Redfern's a really cool little area just outside of the city. Even though it was raining pretty heavily, I always make my way to the guitar shops, even on foot. <laughs> Firstly, a massive thank you to Leo, the store owner, for allowing me to do this walkthrough to showcase on the channel. I really appreciate it. Due to the increased demand of electric guitars and instruments, he was a little understocked compared to normal, but there were still some really great things on display. Not only that, the guitar jungle has a lot of character and a lot of charm, so thank you again, Leo, for letting me do this walkthrough. While the stock was slightly limited on this walkthrough, there's definitely some different guitars that you haven't seen on any of the other videos. Let's go in and take a look. Leo's got a great collection of memorabilia really showcasing the history of great music. We'll check out more of this in just a moment. Here we have a Mayton acoustic guitar which is made in Australia. These also feature the older AP4 pickups which sound fantastic. If you have a chance to plug in a Mayton to a PA system, it's a great experience. Mayton guitars along with Cole Clark are probably our best two known guitars worldwide. The guitar resting up against the amp caught my eye and it reminded me of something I've seen once before. The Godin A6 is made in Canada and it's arguably one of the best acoustics and electrics combined. This has the feel of an electric guitar with that acoustic resonance. One of the huge benefits to this guitar is you can get an output designed just for an acoustic sound or you can rock out with that mini humbucker in the neck position. Having two outputs allows you to get two completely different sounds with one guitar. On a previous Guitar Search Saturday set in Malmö, Sweden, I actually got to play a left-handed one of these without the neck humbucker, and I really liked it. I think it sounded great. Here's an acoustic guitar you don't see every day. This is a 1994 Martin MC28. The body itself is shaped like the Martin J-style acoustic, but its depth is similar to a 0000. One of this guitar's most defining characteristics is its oval sound hole. The tone is reminiscent of a Dreadnought with much easier playability. This is a really cool find and something I haven't seen on any other Guitar Suit Saturdays. Here's something I've never seen before. This is a Chandler electric guitar that's made in the United States. Chandler guitars were either a combination of Japanese parts assembled in California or American made instruments. For several years they were based in San Francisco and now they're based in Chico, California. I was only able to find limited information on Chandler guitars online, but they do look like a really high quality instrument. If you've had any hands-on experience with these, please let me know in the comment section. This is cool. Here we have a super cool ASAT HH RMC Tally style electric guitar made sometime around 2017. Not only do we get the nice binding around the outside, we get two different styles of pickup. This guitar has also been heavily modded. One of the biggest changes is the three-way toggle switch. It has the Tele style switch, whereas it would usually have a Gibson style three-way toggle switch and it's missing from that hole that you see on the guitar. GNL guitars are highly underrated. I still don't think they get the respect they deserve. Here's one of the higher end court electric guitars. This is the G250FR. The neck and middle pickup are both equipped with dual rail style pickups. This guitar is definitely for someone who likes to rock as you can tell from the double locking two tremolo system. For someone who likes to get into the heavy riffage and if you're on a budget, this is a really great choice. Before we get into the best pieces in the shop, I thought I'd show you around some of the music memorabilia.
Back out in the front room are three of the nicest vintage electric guitars you're going to find. We have a 335, an Esquire, and something that looks like a Gibson SG. Here's another first for me. This is a 1960s original Gibson ES-335. This ain't no Murphy lab. What you see is original relicking. This is just old and it looks stunning up close. The video here probably doesn't even do it justice. Leo has a great selection of vintage instruments and they're all in spectacular condition. If you'd like to see some of the famous guitar players who have visited this shop, I'll leave a link through to the Guitar Jungle website in the description below. Check out this guitar, man. Here we have an original 1955 Esquire. A 1955 Esquire. Does it get any cooler than this? One of the things that shocked me about this guitar was its weight. It's extremely light for a tally style body. I'm not sure if weight was a sign of the times or not, but this is far lighter than any of my Telecasters. For the guitar to be in this sort of condition, while still being 100% original, that's pretty special. Sitting on the right of the two other electric guitars is another vintage Gibson. This is a 1961 Les Paul Jr. That's right, it's a Les Paul, even though it's shaped like an SG, because that's what they called them before they changed it to SG. Like all of the other vintage guitars, this is in spectacular condition, and I love the fact it's loaded with a single P90 pickup. Man, this thing is just dripping mojo left, right, and center. Here at the shop, there was three amps that really stood out, the first being this Fargent amplifier. These amplifiers are handmade in Sacramento, California. Maybe the biggest feature with this amp is we get an EF86 preamp tube, and you can put any type of power tube in, including an EL34, a 6CA7, a 6V6, a 6L6, KT66, KT77, KT88, and whatever you like. <laughs> Here's another amplifier you don't see every day. This is an original 1965 Fender Deluxe Reverb Amplifier. Again, this is in full original condition with the original speaker and in full working order. It was right around this point where I nerded out and took some photos. Man, this looks awesome. Check it out. Here we have one of the most legendary amplifier heads of all time. This is the JCM 800. This is one of the most sought after amplifiers for rock players. It has a great tone for that style of music. Crank it up and let it rip. This amplifier has been signed by Jim Marshall. On Leo's website, there's a great photo of Jim and Leo hanging out. I'm pretty certain Leo said this amp is just on display. It's part of his personal collection and not for sale. Beautiful amp. And that wraps up another Guitar Search Saturdays. A massive thank you to Leo from the Guitar Jungle for letting me do this walkthrough. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to find out more about this store, links to his website will be in the description below. Without question, Guitar Search Saturdays is one of my favorite things to showcase on the channel. I really feel like it could have potential to reach a wider audience, so please, if you can, share it around. I greatly appreciate that. And lastly, a massive thank you to the Patreon crew. They help keep this show moving forward. If you'd like to find out more about Patreon, links to that will be in the description below. Coming up in 2022, I have some pretty big plans for this series, so hang in there. If all goes well, there'll be plenty more episodes on the way. Take care and see you on the next one.